Knowledge is power, and when it comes to the market, nothing can provide investors with more knowledge than level 2 data. Market depth, level 2 data, order book. These are all different things you hear when it comes to level 2 data, but they essentially all mean the same thing. Allowing investors to see what other people want to buy and sell, as well as the price and number of shares they want, Level 2 is one of the key tools for generating profit. This is a tutorial on how to use Level 2 on ADVFN, but if you haven't registered with us yet, click the link above where you can register for free. By watching trades daily, directly via our Level 2 data feed, investors now have access to an invaluable understanding of exactly what's going on in the market giving them a significant advantage over traders who don't have level 2 data in front of them. There are multiple stock exchanges, from the New York Stock Exchange to NASDAQ to the London Stock Exchange and beyond, all around the world and multiple in each country. And what really makes ADVFN unique is it offers its users the ability to see the orders not just from any one exchange, but also from multiple exchanges, all in one place and in one single order book. This is a powerful tool because it allows you to have a much clearer insight into the demand and supply for the stock you're looking at. Here's how to get level 2 data on ADVFN.com. One of the easiest ways is by going to Trade Monitor, then clicking on the stock symbol. Now, Monitor is simply a customized watch list, which gives you easy access to info on stocks you're interested in. Just click on the Monitor menu, then click on the stock symbol, and then it'll take you directly to the level 2 page. You can also click on the level 2 page in the menu. You'll be taken to the level 2 page and then you can type in the stock symbol of your choice here. Now we'll be taking a closer look at what these flashing lights and numbers mean. The first thing to notice is the tab across the top. This gives you a summary of the stock's daily performance. And as we take a closer look at this now, here's what the numbers mean. You have the current price of the stock, you have the change in price for the stock, but do bear in mind this change in price is relative to yesterday's close. The next number you'll see is a change in price in percentage terms. On the right, you have the volume traded for the day. The color of the daily performance bar depends on how the stock is doing for the day. Remember, on ADVFN, everything is relative to yesterday's close. So regardless of what color the daily performance bar is, it's always going to be in relation to yesterday's close. Next thing we're going to look at is this yellow bar across the top here. This is commonly known as the touch price. What you have here is a summary of the top orders on the order book, and it's essentially the same info you'd get if you only had level 1 quote data. There are three things summarized on the touch. You have the bid and ask, the total volume of the best placed orders, and finally the number of orders at the best bid and offer price. To better understand this info that you're getting by way of the touch, it's useful to understand how orders are grouped. ADVFN has conveniently grouped all the orders at the same price in the same color. Each row represents an order, and the orders of the same price are banded together in the same color. The order is blue, green, pink, gray, and so on down through the order book. So with each order, you have the info on price, volume, exchange, where the order originated, and the time when the order was placed. So what that means for the trading platform is that these blue rows represent the best buy and sell orders available, and that's the info we see summarized on the touch. So now, based on that, you should have a clear understanding of how the level 2 touch price works. The level 2 order book gives you the option to see orders in full or by clicking on the summary tab. You can see a summary version of the order book where all the orders at the same price are grouped into one row. When you do that, you'll have a summary of the price, the total volume at that price, and also the number of orders at that price. When you look at a level 2 screen, you have buy orders on the left and sell orders on the right. Now, if you intend to buy a stock, then your order to buy will be matched with a sell order. In the same way, if you're looking to sell, then it'll be your order that will be matched to an equal buy order. That's essentially what a trade is. Just remember, when you look at a quote line for a stock, the quote line is what you'd expect to pay to buy, and the lower price is what you're likely to sell at. Keep that in mind, because even though you see the left side of the book labeled as buys and the right side labeled as sells, that's from the market's perspective. From your perspective, your order and position is opposite the markets. You're taking the other side of the trade the market has to offer. 
When you bring up a level 2 screen in ADVFN, you'll notice a level 3 montage tick box up in the right hand corner. By default, this is selected. What it means is you'll see the orders from multiple stock exchanges combined into one. At a glance, you can easily see where the order originated by looking at the code for the stock exchange, right there in the order book. And if you happen to see a code that you don't recognize, that likely means it's a market maker's order that you're seeing. Now, the summary that you see in the stats box gives a nice summary as to what's happening with the order book. As you can see, it gives an overview for the number of orders, the total volume of orders, the average size of each order, how long the order is on the book on average shown in minutes, and finally, the volume weighted average price, also known as the VWAP. The figures that are summarized in the stats relate directly to how you've set up the order book using the drop down boxes just above the touch price. By default, the view is set to all, meaning each and every order visible on the order book will be visible to you. Now, if we look at what the best bid offer prices are, we can see that the prices at the bottom are quite a way off from what the best available prices are at the top of the book. This could skew our view of the book and the numbers we see in the stats, because when it's set to all, the stats take in consideration even those really large orders which may be way off the best prices available. Seeing a smaller percentage of the order book means that you can view orders more relevant to the price movement. With the ADVFN level two, we have this excellent feature which lets you show a certain percentage of the book. If you wanted to, for example, just see the top 10% of orders, you can simply by selecting the option from the dropdown list. When selected, notice how the stats change to show a summary of just those top 10% of orders. So by now, you've probably noticed that both sides of the order book are linked when you make a change using this drop-down box. So by changing the buy percentage of the book, you'd also change the sell side as well. However, by clicking on the link button just between the drop-down lists, you can have each side of the order book work independently. Clicking it once more relinks the relationship between the buy and sell side. You have a color-coded graph which gives you an immediate indication of the volume of orders at a given price. You'll find this tool just underneath the touch price. The colors relate to what you see in the order book, so you'll see that we have a bar made up of blue, green, pink, and gray. To understand what these bars are doing, imagine that the length of one of these bars represents all the orders for one side of the book. It helps you understand whether the orders are weighing heavier on the buy side or the sell side. Let me explain. Notice how it shifts about from left to right. Essentially, when it's around the center, it means that, in total, there are roughly just as many buy orders as there are sell orders. When it's further to the right, then there's a bias to the buy orders. But when it's further to the left, it means that there's a bias to the sell orders, so there's a greater volume of total sell orders. The flashing colors on the order book have different meanings. As mentioned earlier, the orders are grouped by color, but at times you'll notice there are different rows which will flash one of three colors, either red, green, or yellow. You'll find that the rows flash a lot more on the heavily traded stocks. Here's what these flashing colors mean. The row flashes green when a new order is inserted. The row flashes red when an order is deleted. From time to time, you'll notice that the quantity and volume flash yellow. This means that the order's volume has decreased. There are some subtle differences to what the flashing rows mean on the summary tab compared to when you look at it on the orders tab. Green is when a new price level is inserted. Blue is an increase in the number of orders at a given price. Red is when there's a decrease in the number of orders at a given price. The next tab we're going to look at is the Charts tab. This gives you a quick snapshot of the intraday movement of a stock. The red line across the chart indicates the previous trading day's closing price. Just by clicking on the chart and moving it to the left or right, you can see the price history and you can even adjust the zoom by clicking and then dragging the bottom axis or the side axis. TickScope is a neat tool which lets you see the tick by tick price movement of a stock and visualize how it did over the last couple minutes. The first thing to notice is this purple shaded area here. This space is the spread for the stock that you're looking at, the spread being the difference between the bid and the offer price. So what that means is the upper edge of this purple area is the offer price and the lower edge is the bid price. 
Next, notice these little dots that appear across the chart every second. Now, each red dot that appears is a second where there's been a trade. Each white dot that appears represents a second without a trade. On balance, there are generally going to be white dots more than there are red dots. Notice also that whenever a red dot appears, you'll also see a yellow bar that appears in the same area. And that yellow bar represents the volume. Seemingly, you won't always see the yellow bar when there's a red dot, but they are there. It's just if there's been a particularly large trade that went through, then it'll make any previous trades look smaller in comparison. The Quote Info tab gives you some really useful information on what the price has done over the course of a day. The information on the Auction tab depends on the type of stock you're looking at. When it comes to the London Stock Exchange, there are three types of stock trading systems that you'll use. And we're going to delve into that a bit more in different videos, but for now, just know that the Auction tab is here to summarize what happens in the auction period. In the trade section, you'll find a nice summary of all the trades that have successfully been completed. Remember, whereas the order book gives you an overview of the trades that could potentially go through, the trade section is a summary of the trades that have actually gone through. Finally, we have a news tab at the bottom of the page, and this will give you up to the second news release for the entire market. Simply by clicking on any of the articles, you'll be taken to that article. And you can, of course, access our news section by also clicking on the news menu at the top of the page on ADVFN.